300 miles north in Aroostook County. The Warden Service is about to kick off a special moose hunt for an elite group of war veterans. Game Warden Kevin Pelge, this is Sergeant Dan Menard. Uh, we're representing the Warden Service today. Um, but before I represent the Warden Service, I want to tell you personally, thank you for your service. I couldn't be here and go home every night with my family and have the opportunities I have if it wasn't for you guys. And I, I sincerely mean that. Aroostook County, Maine is pretty unique in the fact that uh, our moose population is such a point that it actually becomes a nuisance to the farmers. There's a, quite a bit of crop damage that occurs from moose. And every year there's a, a depredation hunt that happens specifically to target the nuisance moose that are doing damage in the broccoli. Each year, the Maine Department of Inland Fish and Wildlife allocates 10 permits to disabled veterans to participate in a controlled moose hunt. We can't think of a better group to go to just in the way you guys get the job done. Um, Joe Bogart, is he here? Congratulations, Joe. Thank you very much. In 2006, I lost my right eye and much of the vision of my left in Iraq. And because I got to go out and do some hunting stuff out, out and about and saw what I could still do out in the woods, I realized there's a lot more I can do. I've only been up here a few hours and it's fantastic. I've met guys uh, who are bilateral amputees, both legs gone, they're in a, a powered track chair. So I've met guys that have more of the invisible wounds. And hunting is a great sport. And when you're out in the woods, there's a sense of peace, tranquility that comes over. Over the next three days, the veterans will have their shot to bag a moose. It's a great time to just get to meet people and talk outdoor stuff. We're going to discuss laws and rules with them, uh, and uh, we'll get them ready, all pumped up for tomorrow, because tomorrow it will be starting probably at 3.30 or 4 to get ready. So it'll be early morning. 